We can shine in a crowd, we we'll never hesitate. Let us rise to the cloud. Hello, Thomas. I see that you're depressed. What's the problem? Is it the skeletons you're hiding deep inside your closet? Have you been reading all the names they call you in the comments? Have you been worried your haters will put you in the coffin? Are you distraught that you promised vodka was not an option? Now you're having thoughts of doing shots? Tom, you're an alcoholic. Is that true? You're upset that you can't have booze? What's the matter, Thomas? Something's got you in a bad mood. Dreamaholics, great to be with you, great to be with you. Remember that a dreamaholic is somebody that is completely dedicated to making their passions and dreams become a tangible reality. Now, question for you. First of all, what do you think of that intro? <laughs> pretty, pr pr pretty wild, right? Well, question for you. Have you ever found yourself in a dark place? If you're being honest, the answer is yes. Everybody on planet Earth has, mo has their moment. Whether you're having a bad day, bad moment, bad week, bad month, bad year, whatever it is, people have, go into, have times when you go into dark places, right? And the question isn't whether dark places are going to come up because they're really a part of life. The question is how long do you stay in a dark place? In each of our lives, there are disappointments, challenges, frustrations, and things that we have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. But the part of the key to really manifesting everything that you have in your heart is limiting the amount of dark times and dark places that, that you have, okay? And this video from Tom McDonald, <clears throat> I thought was one of the best depictions. It's one of the best um, illustrations um, of how each of us has inner demons and how we have to fight them. In the book, Like Think and Grow Rich, it would talk about it as your self-talk. And so posit you can have positive self-talk or negative self-talk. How do you talk to yourself on a daily basis? Well, if you're whenever you're saying that I can't do this and I can't do this, that's the negative side. <clears throat> that's the inner demon, you know what I mean, that we have to try to fight on a day-to-day -day basis. So what we're going to do is I'm going to run this video and we're going to break it down and we're going to take parts from this to see how can we use some how can we use this to counter any of that negative self-talk or those demons that are fighting that, that are fighting to steal our joy fighting to steal our peace because we want our peace we want our joy we want our vision of what we want to see become a reality and this is interfering with our ability to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to, I'm going to run the video and i guess and then we're going to break down some of the key points that come from it and by the time we're done this video today Anybody who's been, if you've been dealing with any dark places, I want to show you how to minimize that, st that stuff down. All of us have them, and we all have our challenges on our days, but this is going to help you get past them much faster, okay? So let's go, and by the time we're done this video today, you're going to be like, ha, ah, ha, ha, let's go. <laughs> let's go. That you're depressed, what's the problem? Is it the skeletons you're hiding deep inside your closet? Have you been reading all the names they call you in the comments? Have you been worried your haters will put you in the coffin? Are you distraught that you promised vodka was not an option? Now you have the thoughts of doing shots? Now you're an alcoholic. Is that true? You're upset that you can't have booze? What's the matter, Thomas? Something's got you in a bad mood. Woo-wee! Okay. A lot to unpack here. A lot to unpack. So... Starts out with the skeletons in his closet. Now, what's a skeleton? Well, something that you have that you've done in your past that you're not proud of. <laughs> okay, ever done anything that you're not proud of? All right, okay. So now he's always dealing with skeletons and perhaps the guilt of past behaviors or things that he's done in the past that got him in this bad mood. And then he, then he goes another direction with them, talking about haters and having to deal with people in your life or whether you've got stuff that's going on online or just people in your life that are haters. And are you concerned that they're going um, um, to bury you, that they're going to put you in a situation where you're not able to manifest or they're going to block you from having the success that you want? And then, of course, he talked about his alcoholism and drinking. 
And I guess, and he said, let's face it, you're an alcoholic, like, and you want to relapse, right? You want to relapse, don't you? You want to relapse. You know, I know you want that drink, right? You know you want that drink. You know you don't have that strength. You don't, you don't have the internal strength, right? Badgering them, badgering them, poking them, poking them, poking them. And that's what our internal demons do. They come after you, man. Like they're all, like, and they come after you in, in your weakness, vulnerabilities, because you have to understand that the, all this demon is, is the negative side of him. We have a positive self and a negative self. And the negative represent, is represented by this demon that's in here. And this is the fight that we're up against, right? So, yeah, he's coming at him, and he's coming at him hard. Do, 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 jab, 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 uppercut, uppercut. Okay, so let's listen to Tom's response. Yeah, it does. I'm anxious. Nothing calms me down like Xanax does, but I can't even relapse because the internet will laugh at us. I just need a beer or two, but it's been like a year or two. I thought you disappeared. I can't believe that I'm still here with you. Shut up. Woo! Okay, okay, okay. So he's acknowledging, yes, I could use a drink. Oh my God, yes, I could. I could really use a drink right now. But if I do it and I relapse, now what other people are going to think about me and oh my God. Here's something that I really want you to think about. Whatever it happens, to, whatever bad habit it might have been. Like alcohol is just one of many bad habits that somebody can have. And I just, oh, just by the way, just as a brief aside, like, I myself right now am on uh, an alcohol detox. I for the last, it's been a, about a, almost almost a month, almost, almost two months now since I've had a, any a sip of alcohol. Why did I choose to do it? Well, I'm in the Dominican Republic, which is party central. <laughs> I'm in the north coast of the Dominican Republic, and um, I started to notice that I was I would go out to events, I would be going out, you know, or I'd be going to network, and every but say, hey man, what you drinking, what you drinking, what you drinking, what you drinking, <laughs> right? I guess, hola, como esta, mi hermano, what are you drinking, buddy? You know what I mean, you know, so like this, the, and so, you know, and then there were times when I'd be home, and I'm working, I'm like, oh, well, let me have a little sip, sip, mm. you know, let me have a little drink, relax, calm down, and I found that I was drinking a lot. You know what I mean? Not to get drunk, because I'm, I'm not a person who drinks to get drunk. You know, you, you, know, you just want to drink to, quote unquote, feel nice, right? Like this, to get a little buzz, right? One thing that we don't understand is that you don't have to be a drunk to be an alcoholic. Yeah. So the fact that I felt that I needed a drink, I, really, I could really use a drink. I could really, I really need a drink. If you find yourself saying that, that is a degree on the alcoholic spectrum. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I don't want anything outside of me controlling me. You know what I mean? I have to have self control. You know what I mean? And so, I, or power and control over my lower self, right? So for me, I said, nah, you know what? As soon as I've heard the word need come out of my mouth, I said, nah, you're off alcohol. Nope, nope, nope. No alcohol for you. You are banned <laughs> till Christmas. No drinks till Christmas. And I had to put myself on a timeout. Did I feel like having drinks in between? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah, because I like a drink. You know what I mean? But I have to know that I'm in control, I guess. And, and if you are dealing with any type of addiction, and drinking is just one form of addiction, by the way. Uh, I know we're talking about mental demons. And I don't want to get too, too far off topic, but this is important to say that whether it's an addiction to shopping, um, and you're, you're driving, putting yourself into debt, you know what I mean, with the shop. You can't allow anything outside of you to control you. Whether it's addiction to seminars. You're a seminar junkie, but you're not producing anything. You got all these audios, all these videos from all these great people, but your life is still the same. You haven't done anything to evoke change. Might as well have been watching Netflix. Right? Like this, you know, I'm talking, because like, if, if you're getting the material, you need to be doing something with it so that you, to change your reality. That's the point, right? Whatever it is that you happen to be addicted to that's not producing something that, uh, that's good in your life, you have to be able to say no to that and get help where you can in order to get that type of help. But so, so back on the darkness side, so back on the darkness thing, you know, he's in this battle with this guy and he's poking him at his weakest and most vulnerable areas. So let's hear Tom's response. My therapist said me and you can't speak again. I locked the devil out, but it was you who let the demons in. <laughs> 
Tom, you're a comedian. I'm only gonna tell you once. You really need to be my friend. No! I'm walking alone in the darkness. Sharks in the water, a sky full of vultures. The doctor been giving you pills because the pressure you're under been giving you ulcers. Shut up. Let me remind you. I'm independent because I'm the guy who does anything that I want and goes viral. You're independent because no one will sign you. You got a YouTube that no one subscribes to. You got a Spotify nobody vibes to. I'm not another person you can lie to. I'll be the greatest as long as the sky's blue. Liar! Come on, Thomas. Keep it real. You're the liar. I'm going to tell you exactly how I f Okay, okay, okay. So, first things first. He talked about in this that he um, um, he acknowledged that he's having a weak, he had a weak spot, but that's why he also went to get help. So he went to a therapist. And by the way, everybody needs somebody that they can talk to. You need this is another tool that you need to use. Remember, in who wants to be a millionaire? Lifelines. Well, this one is call a friend. <laughs> You know what I mean? And a true friend isn't going to be there to hear, listen to you stew. Yes, they'll hear you out so you can get, get it off your chest. But then it's going to be like, okay, so what do we want to do about this? How do we fix this? How do we change this? How do we, how do we move forward? How do we create something new? How do we change this reality? Okay, because that's what a real friend does, right? Like this, it is, they don't just, they're, they're, a real friend isn't there with popcorn saying, mm, tell me more. <laughs> Oh, you're doing some negative shit. This is great. This is making me feel better about my life. My God. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not the friend you want to talk to. You want to talk to somebody who's actually going to help to encourage you to get out of there, right? So, so it's a therapist, a, a spiritual leader, a counselor, or a friend, somebody who is a trusted voice that can help you get out of that funk, get you out of that place. So that's one of the great things that I'm happy that he put inside the video that he did actually seek therapy because therapy is a positive thing. It's a good thing to get. And then he's also, he, uh, he also talked about the fact, so now, so the demon's coming at him with all of that. Then he's like, hey man, I'm, I'm, I'm great. I'm, I'm independent. I'm, I'm independent. Everything I do goes viral. And, he's, and then the demon or self-talk coming back at him, yeah, well, you're only independent because nobody will sign you. Shit. Like this, <laughs> boom, right? Like this, and playing on insecurities, playing on insecurities, playing on insecurities. Right? I guess, and, but, and, and so, but he, and he's fighting back and he's like, no, 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 mm, no, no, no. And then, so the demon's like, well, you, you got the, the doctor's giving you the pills because you got ulcers. And the truth is, well, he wouldn't need the freaking pills and be getting ulcers if he had control over his demons. <laughs> you know what I mean? The demon's the reason he's got the damn ulcers. Right? So, He's putting up a fight, which is great. And you and I have to put up a fight. We have to look, listen, whether it's, um, you know, um, uh, uh, reaching out to a friend, talking to somebody, we got to find an exit plan. We got to find a way to exit. And I love what Tom does next. Listen to this. Listen to this as he's fighting this battle. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is dope. And in particular, in particular, um, the second half of the chorus. Now, what this is what we call an affirmation, okay? And an affirmation is something that you say or, you are, or that you repeat that changes your mental state. And what ha what's happening here is what we call a mental reset. And each one of us needs to be able to take mental resets. This is another tool for you, okay? Um, a mental reset is something where you're looking for another something to stimulate you to get your mind thinking about something else, or you know, you know, how, if you ever watch a, a a game like whether it's basketball or ice hockey or whatever, coaches will call a timeout. Why? Because when a team is having negative momentum go against them, they need to get reset. They need to come back, or they need to get things back, need to get things back on track. So the coach calls a timeout. That means you disconnect from it, and now you reconnect, and you, and, 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 and you, you reset. Well, in this particular instance, um, we're going to pull up onto the screen right here the, um, the verse from, his, um, um, from what he's saying. He says, uh, this is the second part of the, of, of, of the chorus. I'm the best rapper ever. I'm the best rapper ever. I don't care what you say. 
I'm Da Vinci, I'm forever, I'm designed for the fame, because I'm the goat, get the killer throne, everybody knows, only voices that I'm hearing are my own. I'm listening to my voice. I'm listening to that voice from within. I'm listening to the voice of God. You feel me? I guess because I'm not letting anybody conquer me. Not going to happen. And so this is an affirmation. So I want for you to, whether it's a movie that you like, a song that you like, um, or something that you're writing down, an affirmation of your own, find something that you can use as a pick-me-up to get you out of that mode so that you can get back into the right energy and right spirit and begin attacking whatever that you're after in life so that you can attack it from the best possible vibratory level, from the best energy and frequency level. You really need to do this. It's really, really important. Get yourself back into state as fast as possible. Let's continue. Thomas, I'm still here. I practically smell the fear. I know all the reasons why you feel so insecure. I've seen you panic backstage stage hearing everybody cheer you're famous now thomas tell me what's with all the tears shut up do you regret that your face is covered with tattoos mad that your beats whack all your raps trash too shut up do you resent that you need meds again neglected friends and now you just pretend you're not pathetic you're not having them yeah it's one of those days don't know why i don't feel okay close both eyes and focus on pain blows my mind alone in my brain i smell smoke from all of those flames fell in holes and hope for my grave they told me smell the roses but i burned the whole bouquet. Tom, you'll never win the fight. Woo, okay. So here, <laughs> he just finished coming through and having his affirmation. Boom, another thing came up in life. Have you ever been in a really good mood that all of a sudden you get that phone call from somebody of, about some kind of tragedy or, or, or you um, find out that you identity was stolen, you lost money, or you know you had somebody that you trusted betray you, or you had some type of thing happen, something pops up in life, where you're like, and it completely throws you off. Well, here's the demon coming at him again, okay, and now he's got to deal with this again, right? And so he said, <laughs> no matter how, now he's trying to deal with them on the success level. Hey, listen, no matter how successful you're going to be, you're still, um, like, even as you're successful, um, uh, there's still going to be challenges and issues that you're going to have if you succeed. And he's hitting him on all these things, even no matter how big you are, that there's going to be people who don't like you, that, don't, that aren't feeling you. And you're not Eminem because he's a white rapper. So everybody now all of a sudden, like, he's trying to be, he's trying, you're a wannabe Eminem, right, is what he's basically saying. And, and, and attacking every sense of everything he's about. And then he said, I can smell the fear. I can smell it on you. It's all over you. I can smell it. And, and then, <laughs> and he's like, and he's still fighting and he's still fighting. And then it, and then he, the time in, in his retort, he's talking about, they tell me smell the roses, but I burn the whole bouquet. It's a very powerful statement. And in this statement, what he's saying is that, you know, along the way, you're supposed to enjoy the journey. You know what I mean? But because of the negative thoughts that are coming at him, he's burning up. He doesn't allow the good to come in and he's burning the whole damn bouquet. And he's got, but this is something, he's got to fight this. He's got to fight this, right? Like this. And because we, you have to learn to enjoy even the losses because as you go through the challenges, you're becoming greater by the second. You're getting greater by the hour. You're getting greater by the day, by the week, by the month, by the year. You're getting greater. I guess. And so once we learn from those challenges, so let's continue. Against your haters, long as I listen, as I read every single comment that you try missing, then recite them in your mind and memorize this. Is. I'm a giant, Thomas. Why are you trying to fight with me? I'm different. Don't care about a height difference. I'm Win it. Show up to a gunfight, knife swinging. I am the darkness. Yeah, I got night vision. I've been biting my tongue and the blood from my cuts have been filling my stomach. I suffer because they don't show love and I'm humble. So now I just do this for all of my family and all of my brothers. Liar! You're rapping for yourself. It ain't for them. Your selfish motivations are the reasons you're depressed. I'm doing fine. You need to chill. You need to take more of those pills. Take a breath and tell us all just exactly how you feel. I'm the best rapper ever. I don't want to be great. If they're the best, then I'm better. Don't you make no mistake. Cause I'm the gold, feel it in my bones until I'm a ghost I'm the one who pulls the sword out of the stone I'm the best ever, I'm the best rapper ever I don't care what you say I'm the Vinci, I'm forever, I'm designed for the fame Cause I'm the gold, get the kid of throne Everybody knows, only voices that I'm hearing I'm a whole best ever Tom, let's work together, you know how good we can be Don't deny it, just try it Okay, fine Repeat after me Fine Hi, my name is Thomas. All I want to be an artist. I need help from all my demons for my dreams to get accomplished. See, Tom, I'm just what you need. We're a team. Disagree? Go ahead, cut your wrists and make your demons bleed. <laughs> no! I need to do this by myself. 
I told you twice already exactly how I felt I'm the best rapper ever, I don't wanna be great If they're the best, then I'm better, don't you make no mistake Cause I'm the gold, feel it in my bones until I'm a ghost I'm the one who pulls the sword out of the show best ever. I'm the best rapper ever, I don't care what you say I'm the Vinci, I'm forever, I'm designed for the fate Cause I'm the gold, get the kid a bone, everybody knows Only voices that I'm hearing on my own Best ever Boy oh boy Demons coming at him left and right, left and right. And he's telling them, I'm bigger than you. I'm stronger than you. And he says, I don't care about a height difference. I got this. He says, I'm, I'm the darkness. He says, well, I got night vision. I got this. You can't fight me. Everything the demon's coming around him, he's got to come back. He's got to come back. Then he starts going after his motivations. Well, you're doing, because he's, he's saying, look, I'm doing this for my family and for my friends. He says, no, you're doing it for yourself. You're selfish. Da, 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 da. Like, is, have you ever, had, does this sound familiar to anybody? You know what I mean? Where you, you know, like you're trying to do something good and then you've got these other thoughts that start coming in and start competing with those thoughts. That's what this is. But he's fighting, he's fighting, he's fighting. And then he's come, of course, comes back with his, uh, um, with his mantra or his affirmation. I'm the best rapper ever. I'm the, yeah, you know, he's, he's saying he's the best rapper ever. For you, what are you the best ever at? What are you the best at? You know what I mean? Because like, whatever it is that we're doing, we should strive to be the best at it. Would you agree? I hope so. So, and, so, and then, so, so then the final duel comes and he's talking about, listen, the only way... For me to go away is if you slit your wrist because you need me to succeed. You need me. You need me to win in order to win. You need me. I guess. And he's saying, nah, I don't need you. And I'm going to do this by my own. I guess. And the truth is, is that for those of us who believe in God, we're never on our own because we have a God that there's a mighty God that we serve and no weapon formed against the righteous is going to prosper. The, he that is in you is greater than who is in the world. Period. And so there's no weapon that can is formed against you can, be, can prosper. When you start remembering those things, that gives you that reset. And it helps you knock this thing out. And of course, you get a chance to manifest and be the best ever at anything that you are after. Listen, we all have the power to do this. You have this ability to do it. You've got the tools. Use the tools that I've been giving you through this, like this. And, and, but the most important one is the, is the man above, like this. And knowing that anything, that any vision he's given you, and any circumstances that come against you are not bigger than you. You can handle anything that's coming at you. Anything. You can deal with it. You can handle it. And all you need to stay is focused on the vision and keep the mind right and keep getting those resets when the, 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 the conversations start coming and the negativity and all the ideas, whether it's from other people or it's coming from yourself, like you're fighting those demons like this and we're going to exercise those demons. We're going to get rid of them, put them to freaking death so that we can claim the best that God has intended for us in our lives, okay? So I hope that you got some massive value from this today. I really hope that you're going to take these tools and use them. Come up with your affirmation. Figure out your exit plan whenever the negatives start coming at you so that you can attack and win. All right, let's beat those demons down. Let's beat them. Let's end this today. Have a truly powerful day and let us continue to grow together. We can shine in a crowd, we never hesitate. Let us rise to the cloud.